Hello, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Deborah Cavaglia with Authentic Hypnosis, Healing the Spirit and the Mind. Today, we're going to discuss the third eye. It is a third eye and it affects our pineal gland which is actually in the center of our brain between the two hemispheres and it's shaped like a little pine cone, not this big. <laughs> it's a very intuitive, perceptive uh, gland that is probably closed. In many people unfortunately it is calcified so you are not open to retrieve and accept divine messages to the spirit world. And it is imperative to start thinking about perhaps removing sodium fluoride from your foods, your diet, your water, your toothpaste, your mouthwash to help start opening that up. The Nazis and the Russians used sodium fluoride by all of the water that they held in tanks to be able to control all of those prisoners of war as well as to be able to not only control them but they made them docile. So it's really imperative to start thinking about what you put into your into your food source. Look into this. These are just little tidbits to get you going, to get your third eye open, to get you asking, wondering, questioning. Do some research. Check it out. Also another great way to open up your third eye to get in touch with the divine and really start being able to astrally project or at least get out of your third dimension and retrieve messages from the other side is to just kiss somebody right on their forehead between their eyes. They will sleep like a baby, okay? And try to get somebody to kiss you in your third eye too. It will open it up and it will also allow you to sleep beautifully. Another great way to open your third eye is stargazing. So the best time to do that is when the sun's pretty mellow in the sky. So in the morning, before you get out of bed, think about your third eye and start saying that you want to open it and being open to divine messages and the spirit world. And this will allow you to become much more intuitive, psychic, and be more connected to messages from the divine. Also, before you go to bed, same thing. Do that, get the kiss. <laughs> but do that as well, start opening it up. As to open up your third eye, concentrate on that third eye. All right, and what will you'll see happening is when you start dreaming, you will have more lucid dreams, especially between one and four o'clock in the morning. And you will be able to actually maneuver in your dreams because now you're connected to source. You can start getting messages from the other side. It's a beautiful thing. Whenever you're working with your chakras, you're opening up those energy points. You're raising the vibration, which makes you healthier, happier, all seeing, grounded, depending upon what chakra you're really working on. Now, sometimes what may happen because of that is you may feel actually a real burning sensation or really hot right between your eyebrows, your third eye area. So what will help alleviate that is a nice cool cloth or either a peppermint oil or lavender oil if you're not allergic to anything, etc. Use those, that will really help cool it down and get you feeling happy and content again. And most importantly, your third eye will start to become open and awakened and start truly connecting you to divine messages. Back to stargazing. Stargazing, in the morning, just as the sun's coming up and at the end of the day. If you stand there in an open position of giving, receiving, your hands open, calm, grounded to the universe, beautiful Mother Gaia, 
And what I'd like you to do is just stargaze. It helps open up your third eye. And it's a beautiful, beautiful way to start getting messages and feeling more in tune with the universe. If you do that at sunset and sunrise, you will begin to start feeling and seeing a complete shift in your life and your lifestyle, style, becoming more clairvoyant, more psychic, more in tune with what's happening. Have a lovely day. I hope it's helped. God bless. Namaste. Thank you for tuning in. Take care. Hello and thank you so much for joining me. There will be many YouTube videos available to you, workshops available, for free available to you. Please take full advantage of them. Hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell as well because that way you won't miss a beat. Thanks again for joining me. Namaste.